Hi, in this video, I will show you how to use the SQL filter query using Power Automate. So here is my table called employee and I have got a column called start date. The data type is date, date and time. And here are my three sample records with some date, date and time also there. Okay, uh, let's go back and build the flow then. So here uh, for the demonstration purpose, I am using a manual trigger and the connector I'm using is the on-prem SQL connector. Uh, here I set my connection string, the database and the table name. Okay. So um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this video is mainly about the date and time filter query. Um, so for the filter query, generally we do, uh, you know, we do the column name, which is the start date uh, greater than and then we generally say format uh, that is a function I need to use here uh, so I'm going to click on the function and say format date time utc now comma y y y dash mm dash dd so this is a general format we we uh, you know try to execute it and see whether it works or not okay so I'm going to put two single quotes also there and then adding a next action step called compose just to get that start date and time again a dynamic value i'm setting this as selecting the start date okay uh, let's try to run this flow and see what result we are going to get so you can see here uh, it failed and uh, here it said like uh, the apply to each result for each value expression body values type of null so that means it's nothing been returned for this see that there is nothing there um, it won't even though it's successful it won't return anything there but i know i know that there are values there so why it hasn't returned any values because for the sql one it's slightly different the filter query we need to use here is we need to set the date we need to convert the column into a date function here that is date bracket start date and time then we need to remove this two single quotes which i added and then here we need to put date in bracket like that see that and now um, you know if i try to run this now See, there is no record there, at least it's not failing now. So earlier we got a failure there because uh, the, in the value is nothing there, the, it was null. So if I click on, uh, uh, you know, the output, you can see here the value is null there. But still there are no records because the courier set is uh, greater than today's date. And I have got records which is in the past. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change my expression slightly and um, i'm going to use uh, this expression here and that is i'm adding uh, add days utc now minus 30 here okay so i should at least get one record so here i have uh, got one record which is minus 30 that is this 13th of october 2022 yeah so for that i'm going to run the flow now again so we should get at least one record now. Here it is. So we got one record. And I know uh, there are other records also there. To uh, retrieve the other records, I need to set, uh, you know, uh, another um, uh, couple more days back. Um, okay, so I put minus 50 now. Okay, running the flow again and see the result. There it is all three records we got 13th of october and 26th of september and uh, again 26th of september see here here, here are the records here uh, 26th of uh, september i have got two records and uh, one is from the october now this is about the date uh, you know specific date and time format if you want to uh, retrieve it then what you need to do here is you need to put this format here t00 you know this is the format you need to provide so if i'm going to take out this 
you could still record you could still filter without that without the date uh, without the time so i'm only uh, you know filtering against the time uh, date only okay let's run this flow we should expect the same result here it is there are three records again here okay so the key here is if you have just if you're filtering uh, by date only you can provide this format if not if you are provide you know if you want to filter by the date and time specific then you need to put this format here it is that's the format you need to provide okay and um, i can show you the sql storage also for that see here the date uh, the date and the time format so for the flow we need to put that format uh, with at the end as a z as well yeah i'll put the expression uh, in my video hope this is useful thank you for watching